Hello everyone, this is Creative Biogene. Today we will tell about linear amplification mediated PCR. The application of viral vectors in gene therapy is rapidly developing and the therapeutic results are highly promising. However, actively and passively integrating viral vectors may fail to deliver or trigger severe side effects by undirected or unintended integration into the genome of the target cell. Thus, the analysis of vector integration sites in target cells is extremely important to address both biological and safety issues. The linear amplification mediated PCR can be used to analyze the viral vector insertion or integration site. Firstly, let's take a brief look at the linear amplification mediated PCR. The LAMPCR technique allows identifying unknown DNA sequences that flank a known DNA region. Because of the high sensitivity resulting from pre-amplification of the junctions with specific primers hybridizing in the known DNA sequence, it is possible to amplify and detect even rare junctions down to the single cell level. Contrary, in a polyclonal situation LAMPCR is able to amplify thousands of different junctions in one single reaction. However, due to the use of restriction enzymes only a subfraction of the integrome can be analyzed by LAMPCR for the presence of junctions with every particular restriction enzyme. Thus, repeated analysis of the same sample with different enzymes is recommended. If no LAMPCR amplicons are present on the gel, most likely the distance between the location of the known DNA fragment and the closest recognition site of the chosen restriction enzyme is too large to result in LAMPCR products. In this case other enzymes should be used to amplify the junction. Non-restrictive LAMPCR is independent of the use of restriction enzymes and therefore represents a highly valuable method to comprehensively characterize sequences flanking a known DNA sequence. Omitting restriction digest from the protocol results in the loss of specific restriction fragment length polymorphism characterizing each amplified junction. Instead every amplified junction is represented by PCR products of various sizes resulting in a smear on the gel after electrophoresis. Independent of the diversity of amplified junctions. The outline of LAMPCR. A. Linear PCR with a long terminal repeat specific biotinylated primer is performed by repeated primer extension. Subsequently, the amplified fragments of target DNA are enriched by magnetic tag selection of extension primers. B. A second DNA strand of each enriched target sequence is synthesized by random hexanucleotide priming. C. Resulting double-stranded DNA is specifically digested with the restriction enzyme SSE9I which cuts within genomic DNA approximately every 256 bp. D. An asymmetric oligonucleotide ligation cassette is ligated to the end of the SSE9I digested fragments. E. Nested exponential PCR amplifications are then performed with LC-specific forward primers and LTER-specific reverse primers. For LAMPCR, flanking sequences are amplified by linear PCR using biotinylated primers hybridizing to vector sequences. Subsequent steps involve magnetic capture of the biotinylated PCR products. Hexanucleotide priming by Klenau polymerase for double-strand DNA synthesis and restriction digest. After digestion, a double-stranded sequence adapter carrying a molecular barcode is ligated to the restricted DNA. Also for NRLAMPCR, two linear PCR amplification steps with a vector-specific biotinylated primer are used. 
Subsequent steps involve magnetic capture of the biotinylated PCR products and ligation of a single-stranded linker cassette carrying a molecular barcode. LAMPCR has been adapted to identify as from other integrating vectors and also to identify integration patterns of passively integrating vectors like adeno-associated vectors or integrase defective lentiviral vectors. Applications of LAMPCR are widespread. Traditionally, the technique is widely used to study the clonal composition of gene-modified cells in patients that have undergone gene therapy or to assess the biosafety of novel vector systems by unraveling their integration behavior. Recently, LAMPCR enabled determining specificity and off-target activity of designer nucleases by an IDLV tripping assay. Moreover, LAMPCR allows to easily follow the fate of a transduced cell over time in an organism. This allows to identify proto-oncogenes as well as tumor suppressor genes and also to study hematopoiesis or cancer stem cell biology. Last but not least, LAMPCR is adapted to study T-cell receptor diversity in humans. The intrinsic power of the technology is reinforced by linking the method to deep sequencing technologies that allow characterizing millions of unknown flanking DNA with single nucleotide resolution in whole genomes. Creative Biogene, as a leading biotechnology company in the world, has extensive expertise and experience which are available to provide you with customer LAMPCR service to analyze the viral vector insertion or integration site. We have set up mature assays for several vectors, including lentiviral and most oncoviral vectors, sleeping beauty transposins and some AAV related vectors. Creative Biogene offers custom LAMPCR services for your scientific research as follows. Linear PCR. Magnetic capture and double-strand DNA synthesis. Restriction digest and ligation of DS linker. Denaturation of synthesized DS DNA and nested PCR. Purification the PCR products and sequencing. The feature of our services include multi-arm LAM PCR service, can detect of low copy number at multiple unknown DNA insertion site, high accuracy and sensitivity, competitive prices, fast turnaround time. There are some frequently asked questions as follows. If you want to know the answers, you can visit our website for more detailed information. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. We look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you for watching.